Hi, I'm Jeremiah Robinson. This is Rushing Waters Fisheries. We got a NRC SARE grant to build an aquaponics greenhouse here. This is gonna be not like any other aquaponics greenhouse that has been built before. Oh, I've been growing using aquaponics, which is a combination of hydroponics and uh, aquaculture. So fish provide the waste that grows plants, plants clean the water uh, for four years now. And I've been teaching people how to do it for two. And uh, I've sort of built a reputation as the person who has worked with all the issues on growing in cold water. Um, typically groups uh, around the country grow in warm water with warm water fish. Um, I grow in cold water with cold water fish. Uh, and so my barber actually uh, is a very chatty person. He took a business card. He knows Peter who runs this place. Gave him my business card and said he should call me. Peter called me and we hit it off, so we decided to go for something. So uh, Peter, who runs the fish farm, and his investors were extremely skeptical that there was ever going to be any money in this. And so, uh, so without the grant, they would have remained just as skeptical. But as soon as I said, "Hey, if you're willing to spend ten, we can get you," you know, or if you're willing to spend fifteen thousand, we can get you another fifteen. He said, "All right, we'll do that." So this, no way, this would have happened otherwise. Uh, this is a flow-through trout. Uh, aquaculture facility. So it's spring fed, trout live in the ponds, the water runs through the ponds and then goes down into the creek which ends up in uh, various rivers and waterways and in the Rock River uh, watershed I think is where it ends up. So um, the things that make this project unique and from a hydroponic greenhouse perspective this is absolutely minuscule, this is tiny. So uh, this is just an experiment. We're just checking to see if this will work. What we're hoping will happen is uh, two things. One is we'll be able to grow vegetables using this water, which has been fertilized by the trout that we have here on site, which is an experiment. We don't really know if it'll work. It's been tested at a university level, um, you know, in controlled lab conditions, but on an actual farm, it has not been tested. Uh, we're gonna try it in a few different ways. Uh, we have a few grow beds that are built as you know, three in parallel, so we'll be able to grow in three different ways. There's going to be some more grow beds built also in three in parallel, so we can try a variety of different growing methods using three different sources of nutrients. We're going to use the water from the fish ponds, we're going to use digested pure fish manure, and then we're going to grow using standard hydroponics as a control. So this will be just a double poly, double poly uh, inflated greenhouse, 30 by 50. We might experiment with some unusual heating schemes using some of the water as a heat sink. Uh, other than that, uh, the main other thing that we're doing is we're hoping to test whether we can remove a significant amount of nutrients from the water. If we can remove a lot of nutrients from the water, that'll uh, resolve tensions between farms like ours and the DNR because they can do something that's profitable while also removing their pollutants. So that's sort of a big deal if it works. We don't know if it'll work. That's why we're trying it. Phosphorus is the primary nutrient, uh, um, both dissolved and uh, uh, suspended phosphorus. Yeah, so total and dissolved phosphorus. There's a orthophosphate is the typical term, and then there's total phosphorus. We want to remove both of those. We also want to remove as many solids as we can because they're regulated on solids. Uh, there's talk about nitrogen regulations coming down the line at some point, and so we're concerned about that. They have ammonia regulations, but they're not anywhere near their ammonia regulation levels. So, you know, I have friends in the wastewater world, um, and they're basically all of the mind that there will eventually be a no added nutrients rule for everybody. So this is going to be a place that we're going to end up at some point. So that's what we're hoping we'll accomplish here. Uh, at least being able to verify whether one can do these things. If it also proves to be profitable, then we may end up scaling up to be not minuscule anymore and actual grow significant quantities of vegetables.